watching with the Inland Valley News here at the LA Hotel for the media day for the USC Trojan. Fantastic event. Stay tuned for some fantastic interviews to follow. On the break, ready? Let's see. We have a big play, big game representation. We play that down. We fully understand relationships. We take care of that belongs to us. We make all of us here for the lives and We are situational masters. We play it legal. We have great field awareness. We have simple effective schemes. We are assigned to perfect. We establish field positions. We celebrate all ways. We are our team first service. I just need a ball. Zach, how was the beef yesterday? Yeah, nice. <laughs> too much, too much. <laughs> Zach, how you feeling? First of all, after all of that meat you ate last oh, night. It was amazing, man. I, I really didn't eat as much as I could. Uh, tried to make sure I don't get sick before the game. But, you know, as, as of everything, yeah, couldn't couldn't ask for more. High class place, amazing place, good food, great people. It was a great night. It was a good atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah. You guys looked like you had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did. We always have a lot of fun with each other when, uh, when we're, you know, not only together as a team, but we're also eating. You know what I mean? Big guys get, get happy when they get food around them. You look like you had so much fun that the elevator went reverse. Yeah, the escalator, the escalator. Just, the escalator just hit reverse. Oh, I wasn't gonna die today. That's all I know. So I got a rose bowl to play, it, and then I might, I might be able to go away. Maybe the escalator might be able to take me out after that. But until then, they, they're not gonna get me. Well, let's talk about the game day. Talk about stepping out onto the field. What, you, what will your emotions be like when you step out, knowing this is for the granddaddy of them all? I think the emotions are going to be high, uh, but the best team is going to be able to keep their emotions down. Bottom line, I think the atmosphere is going to be high. You can't control the atmosphere. The atmosphere is going to be insane. It's going to be nuts. No one's ever played anything like it on this team, um, and on Penn State, obviously. So, with that being said, he, he, the the team that gets their emotions down and, and back to normal and uh, gets a good flow about them is going to win the game. So we need to make sure that we keep our emotions down and play like, play it like it's any other game, which is hard to do, but we can do it. Well, knowing that this is like we talked about <clears throat> last night, you're at home, you're in Southern Cal, and it's almost as a home game, right. and you'll have a, a push or an advantage because you'll have a, the crowd behind you. Talk about that benefit. Of whenever, you watch the, whenever you watch the Rose Bowl game, it's always like it's, pre, it's pretty neat because when they go, when they do the over landscape of, of the stadium and everything, you can see the, how the, the, the stadium split in half. And they did it at the same thing at the Penn State USC game back in the and so. I really don't think that the game, the crowd's going to be that much. SC, it could be, but you don't want to bet on that. We're actually, you know, getting ready to prepare for at least a loud atmosphere in case, because the Big Ten shows up with a lot of big, you know, especially Penn State, they have a great fan base. They have amazing people back in and stuff, so it might be loud for us. Who knows? But like I said, we don't want to go into it and think it's a home game. We, we want to think of it as a home game and you know, a challenge and leave it as a neutral site. What would you rate the intensity now that you guys are practicing and in preparation? What would you say the intensity level is between 1 and 10, the way you guys have been practicing? The awesome thing about it is all season has been at a 10. Not just now. We didn't, we didn't turn it up, which I think that's a reflection of the leadership, and I think that's a reflection of the younger guys also. Uh, I think that's a reflection of the coaching staff. I just think it's a reflection of everybody in the organization because, honestly, we, we've been preparing and stuff for the Rose Bowl since week one. Which a lot of people want to bring up the one free start, but to be honest with you, we don't think about it like that. We've been practicing just as hard as we were in camp. Would you say that that one in three start was actually a, a, not a stumbling block, but a stepping stone. Yeah, I think it was a stepping stone. I think it was a growing thing. Um, I think that the one and three start was nothing but some growing pains amongst the program. You got to look at it like that too when you're a part of the program. It's hard to do that. But I'm telling you right now, if you would have told us that we would have went on an eight game winning streak and been a part of the Rose Bowl and we signed a contract after that Utah game, all 100% of us would have signed that contract. Because it's, it's an awesome feeling. What was the turning point knowing that, 
hey, we're on to something. What, in the I think season. it was the next day. Next day. Because you look at the film and everything, we were doing great things in the Utah game. We were just killing ourselves. Uh, you know, we were doing a lot of great things in the games before that. And, and there's flashes of it. But we just, need to, we just told ourselves, like, hey, let's bring it together. And let's do this and let's get it done. Which team had, that you have played throughout the season would you say is comparative to Penn State on, no, on film? Nobody. Nobody. And, and, and we say that on film because you, when you play a team from a different conference, you get a different type of build and a different kind of recruiting just because the schemes are different in the Big Ten than it is in the Pac-12. But there, there, there's nobody that, that we played like Penn State, which is tough, but we're, we're, we're smart people. We'll know how to game plan against that. As a leader, a dominator, how will you inspire your other teammates to be their best? Continue to have great practices. Continue to have fun with each other in the events. Build that type of bond that just shows them that their captain has their back. What makes you so good? What's in your DNA that makes you not only makes me so smart, good. jovial, athletic? For sure. I think, I think uh, the determination. I think the determination factor of me uh, is, is what, because I'm not going to change. You have to be determined not to change your character. You have to be ter determined not to change the type of person you are. There's been a lot, a lot of doubt this season uh, for myself personally and for our team. And when you talk about the team, I'm the captain. So with that being said, they're knocking on me too, right? They're knocking on Coach Helton. Um, you have to have a lot of determination to stay who you are. Stay to trust the process and just keep working and understand why you're here and understand why there's doubts. It, it's there to fuel you. Who's the most inspirational person in your life? Most inspirational person other in my life other than my parents, Ron and Vanessa Banner, I'd have to say Mark Allen. Um, it's my, my uncle Mark, my dad's best friend. And, you know, he, uh, He's always on me and he's always making sure I'm doing the right things, but he's also a motivator by reminding me every day you're doing a good job and there's more to work on. And you, you, you don't get those type of people in your life when you get to my level because you get sometimes a lot of guys have people around them that tell them, oh, you're this and that. You can't be stopped. You can't be touched. Um, some people have been identifying in my life I haven't given up a single pressure in the last six games. Not a single sack, a single pressure. That means the guy ain't got close to the quarterback at all. But my uncle Mark's over here telling me, okay, what's that mean? We have a Rose Bowl to close out. We got a senior bowl after that. We have the draft to get ready for. So many things that are still in the scope of work that you just got to stay focused. He's always on me. Other than my parents, he's probably the most educational person.